Hi everyone. For our final activity, we're going to see what you can do coding with Scratch. I've created a game called Rock Crush that you can see here, and I'm not going to show you how to code it, but I'm going to show you what coding blocks to use, and hopefully with the skills that you've learned in the last three lessons, you'll be able to replicate my game called Rock Crush. Before I show you what the coding blocks are, let me show you how Rock Crush works. Ready? Here we go. So, I'm operating the bowl at the bottom using the right and left arrow keys. So the bowl goes back and forth with my arrow keys. And I'm trying to catch all of the fruit falling from the top of the screen. Apples and strawberries and oranges. If I do catch an apple or a strawberry or an orange, I get a point under food health. But if I touch the rock by accident, because every once in a while this big rock comes down. That's why it's called rock crush. If I touch a rock, I lose five points. You can also see there's music playing, which I'm going to just uh, disconnect for now so I can talk about the game while it's playing. So let's take a look at it one more time. Ready? Green flag and go. The music adds so much more to it. Look, I'm trying to catch all this fruit coming down and get points. And when I do catch the fruit, uh, music also plays. A nice sound effect. Watch what happens when I touch a rock. I've done it was for not. Anyways, that's how the game works. Here are some of the key coding blocks I use to create Rock Crush. First of all, when the right or left arrow key is pressed, you change the X coordinates to go right and left. I created a variable called food health. And at the beginning of the game, I set food health to zero. If the bowl is touching any of the fruit, I get a point. If the bowl is touching the rock, I lose five points. So I have a few of these forever if touching uh, this set of code right there. I also had music playing and the song I had was called Dance Magic. So I was playing Dance Magic over and over again. I also had the fruit and the rock start somewhere up here. You know, between negative 240, which is right here, and, and positive 240, which is right here. So we don't know where it's going to start, but it's going to start up here somewhere. And of course, the X coordinate is like 170. So the x is, oh, I'm sorry, the x is negative 240 to 240, and the y coordinate is 170. Um, the fruit and the rocks are showing and hiding. Of course, they all start at some kind of location there. The bowl starts at 0 and negative 124. Um, changing y by negative 10, that's how the apples and the oranges and the rocks fall down. They're changing y by 10 a whole bunch of times. If you remember, I think we used 35 a bunch of times in the last few sessions. So that's my game. It's called Rock Crush. There's the key coding blocks. Of course, you'll probably use others as well. Um, but if you're stuck, take a look at my code here. Teachers, parents, I have the answers to the code for all of these different sprites on the package that you've got along with this um, YouTube video. So Hey everybody, good luck. I'm sure you're going to do well on this coding uh, activity and I hope to see you again soon for another lesson in coding. Thanks everyone. Good luck. Have a great day.